Happening Wednesday night, the latest showing in the Black Cinema series at the Little Theater here in Rochester, a documentary called The League. It's the story about the dramatic rise and fall of the Negro Leagues in baseball. This is all done in partnership this series with the Rochester Association of Black Journalists. Kevin Hicks and Richard McCullough are here, our guests this morning. Welcome to you both. Thank you for coming in. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Richard, let's talk about the documentary itself, The League. Yeah. What is the story that people are going to hear told through this? Well, it's, it's, it's a story, it's a, a black American history story about the league, uh, about the Negro Leagues, and it's one of those stories that's finally being told. Uh, the turn of the century, uh, there was a time, of course, when there was an exclusion of uh, black players from the major leagues, and so they started their own. And with the help of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs saw the potential in these, in these um, these athletes, they started the Negro Leagues and then it just took off. Now, part about this will highlight the end of the leagues and what happened not just to the players who may have gone on to MLB, mm -hmm. but what happened to businesses, families. What type of impact did that have when the league eventually dissolved? It was very successful. First of all, it was very successful. You know, they used to change, the, the churches used to change their schedules <laughs> so that they could, you know, in the, in the sermon so that the folks in the sun on Sundays could go to the leagues. Yeah. So it was very profitable for businesses. It was very successful. They had great success with it. But with in integration, you know, that's the thing. It's kind of a Catch-22 there, you yeah. know, uh, because that source of income and that success was kind of cut into and, and it uh, kind of ended there. But there were a lot of noted uh, players that, that emerged from uh, the Negro Leagues, Jackie Robinson, Satchel mm -hmm. Page, and so forth. But uh, it's, it's a good story, uh, Brennan. You know, it's a story, it's a, it's a story that Sam Pollard, the director, uh, he, 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 he sourced actual archival interviews from some of these uh, noted players and included those in this documentary. So it's a, it's a very good piece of American history and African American history. And Kevin, also some Rochester history of the Rochester American Giants as well, too. Sure, yeah. The Rochester American Giants were uh, a, a team here. We actually happen to have uh, one of the players from that team, Walt Williams, who's going to be on our panel uh, on July 5th. And uh, so they were uh, a successful team here. Uh, you also had the uh, New York uh, Black Yankees, which is a, another team. And uh, so we've got a storied history here. What do you hope people take away when they go there Wednesday night? I hope they, they realize that uh, Rochester was a, a, a welcoming com uh, community for the Negro uh, League teams that I mentioned. Uh, when they were in the South, they were able to use the stadiums, but they couldn't use the restrooms, they couldn't use the locker rooms, and so it was kind of a different story. And it is one that you can see again coming up Wednesday. It is the league. Thanks again to Richard and Kevin for being here. This is at 730 again at the Little. Uh, go check it out. They've also got the Q&A after that. We have more information posted at RochesterFirst.com along with what is coming up in the rest of the series as well at the Little.